Hi Shoebox friends, welcome back. This is Denise from D. Rogers. Today I'm going to try to show you how to make a t-shirt jump rope. I've used these for my boxes in the past. They're very easy to do. Uh, the success rate is high and you can make errors and they still turn out great. That's kind of what they look like. I've never done a DIY on camera before, so let's see how this turns out. You will need some t-shirts. These are my kids' t-shirts. Um, they were all swimmers, so we have a ton of t-shirts. You can use any old clean t-shirt or um, you can get t-shirts at thrift shops um, inexpensively. But I have a ton hanging around my house from my kids. so. Um, they, are, they are medium, some are small, some are larges. It doesn't matter. You can get whatever you can get out of a shirt works great. You will need a good pair of scissors. You will make your yarn out of the t-shirts. And it's helpful to have something to measure with. And when you're all done, you'll need a rubber band to hold your um, jump rope together. And I like to make these little tags and I'll tell you about those at the end. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by doing this blue t-shirt. My kids swim colors were red, white, and blue. So we have a lot of red, white, and blue t-shirts hanging around our house. There are several ways to do this. Some people do it differently than this. This is just what works for me. So what you're going to do is take your scissors and you're going to start cutting at the bottom about two inches. And you can start anywhere on the bottom of the shirt and just go in like that. And then I just use my ruler to see if I have about two inches. And I do. And then I'm just going to cut and keep cutting all the way around the t-shirt. So we get over here, I'm gonna turn the t-shirt over and keep going. And these cuts do not have to be perfectly straight. You don't have to get real, um, you know, worried about it because it always turns out. You get to this point where you started and you'll see that the edge is right there and you're just going to keep cutting over that edge and you're going to keep going all the way around the t-shirt. And what you're doing is making your t-shirt yarn. Again, two inches works for me. Some people make them thinner. Some people make loops from the t-shirts rather than cutting straight around like this. This just works for me and it's really easy to do. Okay, when you get to the top of the shirt, close to the sleeve, that's where you're going to finish your cutting. And if it has a logo, it's okay to cut the logo into your jump rope as well because the fabric will curl up and will hide that logo. So you're going to cut all the way to the top of the sleeve. There's the sleeve right here. I think I can get a little bit more out of this one. Keep cutting until I hit that next sleeve, which is right there. Okay, and so we're going to end it there. And this is the part you don't need anymore. And you can just throw that away. And then what I do is I take the yarn that you've now created and I stretch it. 
and pull it along the whole length and you'll see that the material from the t-shirt will curl up. And this is what you are making your t-shirt yarn. And then when I'm done, I like to roll it into a ball of yarn. Okay, I now have three colors that I'd like to use for this jump rope. And what you're going to do is take the ends and measure out nine, about nine feet. You can make your jump ropes smaller if you'd like but I think nine feet is a good size for a child. So I'm just gonna use my stick roller and you can kind of hand measure this if you don't have something to measure it with. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's about nine feet. I'm just going to give it a little bit extra there. And you're going to cut it. And as you can see, these t shirts are enough to make another jump rope. So then you're going to take those three and tie a knot at the end. Give it a good knot, pull, and you're going to start braiding. So I find it easier when you're braiding is to hang this on something, like uh, a kitchen, a kitchen hook, or something that allows you to pull on it. And as you're braiding, you will find that the um, the strings get tangled. So every once in a while you have to stop and kind of untangle your jump rope yarn. So as soon as I get this long enough, I'm going to hang this on my window so I can braid it a little bit easier than this. Uh, try not to get too frustrated as the yarns get tangled. You just have to keep untangling them. Okay, so you can now start to see that I have it now attached to my window, which makes it much easier to braid and pull the t-shirt yarn out as I go. I forgot to mention, you do need to know how to braid. I don't know if there's any other way to do these, but if you know how to braid, these come out really nice. And I've also noticed that some of my t-shirt yarn is thinner in some spots than the others. And that's okay. That just, it's just the way the t-shirt pulled thin. These still come out no matter what you do. Pretty nice. And they're fun to make. Okay, I'm coming to the very end. And no matter what you do, for some reason, one t-shirt is always shorter than the others. And that's okay. So I'm going to finish it off. Braid it up to the very end. And take my scissors. And where the shortest one ends, I'm going to cut the others off. I'm going to 
loosen that braid a little bit and make a knot similar to the one I made at the top of the rope. And pull it very, very tight. Okay, so that's that end. Move this off of my window and you can see the other end. And you can see you have your jump rope. And then what I like to do is take the jump rope, stretch it just a little bit, and then I put it all together with the rubber band that I had on my table here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to put a rubber band around it. And then I like to put a tag on mine. So for countries where, you know, they may not sh be sure what this is for, you can go online to free clip art and just type in girl jumping rope, boy jumping rope, and you will get these little pictures that I really like of the kids jumping rope. Here's the girl. And then what I do is I use fancy scissors, cut around the picture, and put it on a piece of cardstock. Then I just attach a piece of twine and tie it to the rope. And you're done. You've made your t-shirt jump rope for your Operation Christmas Child shoebox. Again, these turn out really nice. You don't have to, doesn't have to be perfect. They're very easy to do. Um, it's a very resourceful project. So I hope this gives you an idea. If you'd like to give it a try, let me know how it comes out. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this DIY for Operation Christmas Child. Thanks. I'll see you on another video. This is Denise. Bye-bye.